After conducting a decent stress test towards the start of August, which ended up being extended to ensure they learned all they possibly could, Square Enix announced confidently during the 2017 Tokyo Game Show that Final Fantasy XV Comrades, the game's multiplayer expansion, would be releasing on the 31st of October 2017. However, as has been something of a trend with the Final Fantasy XV universe, Square Enix has now had to come out and say they will no longer be hitting that release date despite it being so close. Instead, it will now be releasing at some point towards the beginning of November. The news of the delay came via the official Final Fantasy XV Japanese website, where it was explained they had decided to delay it in order to make final adjustments to the content of the expansion. In other words, they want to make sure they can create the best possible online experience for everyone who ends up playing it, which I guess is somewhat understandable. As they only gave a vague release window, the Japanese announcement also encouraged fans to check back in the future for an update on when the expansion would actually be releasing. At the same time, Square Enix Japan also announced that Comrades would be increasing in price for Japanese consumers. It was previously priced at 1,500 yen, which equates to around $13 or £10, but it will now instead retail at 1,980 yen, an increase of around $4.5 or £3. No explanation was given whatsoever for the price hike, and it's difficult to tell if this will translate over to affect the price in the West, as Square Enix has never officially said how much it will cost over here. When the release date was announced, it was simply listed as an undisclosed price. Either way, if you've already purchased the Season Pass, you're probably sitting pretty, as it's already included for you, so none of that really matters whatsoever. And for those of you guys who may not be aware, Comrades will now actually have a decent story component to it, as it will take place following Chapter 13 in the main game, and will explain more about the Dark World. You will play a member of the Kingsclave, who will be fully customizable as you look to band together with your Comrades to take on numerous quests and fight against some rather beastly looking monsters. Here's hoping the Comrades delay will only be for a small amount of time as opposed to something more significant. Chances are, if it's only just small tweaks to the content, it will either release on the 7th of November or the 14th of November, which is in keeping with their typical Tuesday release dates for major downloadable content. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. Anyway, how do you guys feel about this delay? And more importantly, how many of you guys are actually intending to play Comrades when it does actually end up releasing? Of course, let us know in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoy our content in general, please consider supporting us on Patreon. You can find out more information at patreon.com forward slash ffunion. These amazing folks have already made the active decision to support us, and we are extremely grateful. It would be great to see this number continuing to grow. Alright guys, this is Daryl signing out. I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy videos.